Okay. The, the great synthesis of particle physics in the 20th century was to see that uh, we have, on the one hand, matter particles, the quarks and the leptons, and the quarks and leptons make all the ordinary matter we see around us, uh, including the protons and neutrons and nuclei and all the chemical elements and atoms. Uh, and then, on the other hand, we have force particles, the particles that we use to describe how uh, the, the different forces uh, allow the matter particles to interact with each other. Already, the theorists, who are, are always thinking ahead of us experimentalists, had realized that you could explain the pattern of the, the fundamental uh, particles like protons, neutrons, and other particles that we now call baryons in terms of combinations of hypothetic, then hypothetical particles that they called quarks. And indeed, once these uh, things inside the protons and neutrons were proven to exist, it became pretty clear by around 1969 or 70 that there were indeed quarks inside protons and neutrons. In a sense, the experiment that Rutherford did to uh, discover the nucleus was repeated again in the 1960s at SLAC, the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center uh, near Stanford. And what they did is to take uh, extremely high energy electrons and shoot them into solid materials, heavy materials uh, or, or even hydrogen. And look at how the electrons bounced off the protons, neutrons, and, and nuclei in those materials. And uh, we're certainly looking for whether or not the protons and neutrons had some structure, so even smaller things inside them off of which the electrons could bounce. Uh, there are six fundamental types of quarks and we've been able to establish a limit on that and it's no more than six. And they come in pairs. The first pair, which we call the first family, are known as the up and down quark. That was named by Murray Gell-Mann who came up with the idea of quarks in 1964. So the first family is an up and down quark. A proton is basically made up of two up quarks and one down quark. A neutron is made of two down quarks and one up quark. And all stable matter that we know about is made of uh, those uh, quarks and electrons, which are also part of that first family of fundamental particles. Then we have two more families. We have the, the quarks and the second family are called the strange and the charm quark. And they have short lifetimes. They decay into, they're heavier, and they have short lifetimes. They, they decay into other things, you know, other light things, like up and down quarks, electrons, and, uh, and other things. And they have a partner that's like the electron called the muon. That's the second family. And you can find, you'll find those in cosmic rays, for example. Most cosmic rays that make it down to the surface of the Earth are made of muons, heavy electrons.